All right. Um, I've used boards from this company before. These little little bitty proto boards for SMD work and prototyping, and there are little little SIP uh, SIP connectors on the end. And uh, I like these things. Uh, there's different versions they have, different uh, families. They have they have all kinds of different ones. Um, so those are those are pretty cool. I I recommend these things, but um, I sort of wanted to be able to build them myself, all right? So I thought about it quite a bit, and I ran across another website. All right, and this company um, looks like they do synthesizer stuff. They also had a need for some adapters, basically, SIP to SMD adapters, and they built a panelized board. It's this giant board. And... Um, let me let me let me um, let me show you exactly what this looks like closer up. They have a close up shot here. Here, so um, they basically have these routed sections, and then they have V groove scoring. So the top and the bottom are very nicely machined, and then the sides are the kind of the ugly ones. And that's kind of what you want. Now, they decided to do castellation on the ends, so you could solder these down directly to a PC board, the castellation. Um, but that's not exactly what I had. But I could add pins to these, so these would work just fine. But what encouraged me, though, was this board. I thought, man, can I do those boards at PCB Way? Would they be able to, to, to do a board like this? And, you know... Uh, I've never done it before. So how do you, like, how do you do V grooving and stuff? I really, I really didn't know. All right. So that's my, that's my uh, game plan. So let me show you what I did. All right. So here we are in uh KiCad, KiCad. And, um, so I have, um, these little routes. Okay. And, uh, then I have these V grooves. All right, so how did I specify the V groove? I think everybody knows how to build a board and how to how to do all of the other stuff. But let me let me kind of walk through this. Let me um, let me turn some things off. Let me turn off these and that and um, that's the only thing on here. It's going to look a bit funny because there's some uh, unrouted nets at least it thinks that because when you copy and paste them they kind of show up but just ignore everything except for the white lines so the white lines are the actual pc board routing information it's on layer edge cuts so this is layer edge cuts right uh i can turn it on and off so this is layer edge cuts and um so that's pretty straightforward all right but i needed to give them information about the V grooving, all right, where you route halfway through the top and the bottom, and then you can break them apart, that type of thing. So I decided over here on the right, there's a whole bunch of things, and there's user one, user two, user three. Well, um, I used user two. So if I turn on user two, I've drawn some lines in here, and those are exactly where I would want the V groove to be, all right? So when I ordered the board, I made sure that my Gerber files had user two routed out. And then in the comment section, when I ordered the boards, I said, this board has V grooves and they are defined on Gerber layer user two. And that was enough. That's all I had to do. Um, so let me turn these guys on and off again. Or, so um, I have uh, simple ones here like a uh, SOT 23 and this is like a SOT 23-6, and this is an SO7, SO-7. These are like teeny tiny ones. Um, and then uh, these are more like the uh, uh, ones that other company did uh, if these were all just exposed. So, so I wanted to have no solder mask over this entire section, okay? So the way that I did that, if you go to the solder mask, okay, over in the right, there's front mask, okay, that is that is this layer. So this is the front mask layer, F, F dot mask. And you can see that I have 
uh, done a solid filled rectangle on the layer F mask. So it tells it that uh, do not, so let me turn off some of the other layers here. So, so you can see just this area here, do not put that green solder mask there. You know, that's a keep out zone. So when you actually look at this board, then the uh, this section here will have no solder mask at all on it, as you see, because I, I defined that big rectangle that exposes all of that. So that's what I want it to look at, look like, I should say. Um, then let me talk about this area over here. I thought I'd get I thought I'd get fun. Uh, I knew I wanted these things. Let me turn these things back on. I knew I wanted these, and I and I I've already built these before, but I said let me build some more of those. These are just uh, uh, and this is the nine pins, so there's eight uh, S O eight O fives here. And then I said, well, what about uh, op amp? Maybe it'd be fun to have an op amp board. So this op amp board here. Um, uh oh, looks like there's an error on that board. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, hope I didn't build them that way. I might have, I might have, oh dear. I moved something and then forgot to bring these in. Oh, that's gonna be a complete disaster. Oh well, um, and this one as well. This is like a complete disaster as well. Oh well, so these might not these might not work on Rev One, uh, but anyway, the idea was. <laughs> let me go back to the idea. Uh, the idea was to have um, an op amp and then have bypassing on on the board. So there's a, a pin four is bypassed, pin pin eight is bypassed, and then um, the rest of it should be good to go. So you could do. So I bring I bring out ground on a separate pin, pin nine. Even though there's only eight pins, one with the ground was on pin nine. And then over here, I went a little fancier. I have the op amp, and then I have a bunch of resistors and stuff where you can, um, it'll look something more like, it'll look something more like this, where there's going to be uh, some resistors uh, around the parts so you can make it inverting or non inverting or any way you want to. All right, so that's what's going on here. Now I need to go back. I've already ordered these boards, oh no. Um, I need to go back and see if I really messed that up. It's possible. Um, and I might have to do a second revision. But anyway, uh, this at least parts of the board are going to be usable. They're all break-apart tabs, so you know I'm only going to waste 15% of the board, maybe 20. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's what I did. Uh, so what we need to do is order some boards and uh, see what's going on. So if you noticed, if you lay out a board, uh, section, like like here's one section, right? I, I made made this section here that's just resistors on a nine pin connector, all right? And then when I laid it out, I did one of them, and then I highlighted this and did a copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And that's the way you can do it here. And that's why there's a, so, so many of these uh, connections here that aren't routed because they aren't associated with, anyway, you, you kind of get the idea. Um, so let's uh, let's get some of these boards on order. <laughs> 